This is another piece you can find on heavy.com, but there's a couple websites carrying it. Georgia teacher Amelia Ressler masturbated on video in front of kids. Yeah, I'm going to let that I'm gonna let that really just kind of sink in, right? Masturbated on video in front of kids. Ressler is a Georgia woman accused of 19 counts of child molestation after police say she filmed herself masturbating in front of a class of elementary school students while working as a substitute teacher. The 30-year-old wrestler was arrested on February 5th, uh, 2021. The Carroll County Sheriff's uh, Office said in a press release, wrestler was a substitute teacher at Mount Zion Elementary School in Carrollton, Georgia. According to the Sheriff's Office, investigators were notified about allegations of misconduct by a substitute teacher and learned that wrestler uh, engaged in indecent and immoral acts while in the presence of school-aged children is being charged with what I mentioned earlier. Wrestler was seen on video touching herself inappropriately, inappropriately in front of a second grade class. Carroll County Communication Director Ashley Holsey told CBS, the class was being held in person, not over Zoom uh, or on another video platform. It appears she was masturbating while the classroom was full of kids. We obtained video evidence because she videoed it herself and disseminated it and we were able to get a hold of the evidence. Uh, apparently, she posted a 13 second masturbation video on Snapchat that led to her arrest. Um, shit. Uh, the exposure claimed to have seen the video and shared information about it. Uh, I guess the exposure is a media source. The Georgia based social media page posted a screenshot of the video showing a person they say is wrestler wearing leggings with her feet on the desk. Another screenshot shows what appears to be her hand in a mitten between her legs really this 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 is what's happening really masturbating in a second grade class <sighs> y'all it, it look yeah a b in front of a second grade class <laughs> I, 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 a I, that's all the information I got. Y'all explain it to me if you can. But this is the kind of crap that's going on now. So 19 counts of um, child molestation. Yeah, I don't know how many of you saw this one, but this was real interesting. This is uh, uh, it, apparently on allaboutlaughs.com. Title of the article is Stephanie Mills. Uh, Sage, appreciate the support again. Um yeah. Stephanie Mills calls for R. Kelly's ex-wife to be locked up with him. Claims the wife knew what was going on. I ain't heard from Stephanie Mills in a while. I really wasn't expecting that. But she came out pretty strong and she didn't limit it to just R. Kelly. The article actually start, starts out with her talking about uh, her and Michael Jackson. It says with all the drama and controversy surrounding a few major African-American entertainers, Mills spoke up in an interview with The Root. Uh, documentaries uh, devoted to exposing and or tearing down the likes of R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, and others have been released in recent years. And we talked about this last year. This is a money grab in my assessment uh, where denigrating black men for cash was a quick and easy way to go. And people didn't have a problem with it. Right. Uh, so uh, that said Jackson and Mills shared a special relationship as they once briefly dated. She said, I love Michael. Stephanie said in a 2016 interview with Closer Weekly, we dated for about a year. And a year and a half back in the day, he was the sweetest, most compassionate, most loving person, very soft spoken, very humble. When asked by The Root if she would watch the HBO Leaving Neverland documentary, Mills stated that she won't be watching it because he didn't do those things. Uh, they said he uh, was already clear. He went to court. So why are they doing it? It's purely to make money. So I will not be watching it because I don't believe any of that's true. I know for a fact it's not true. Then she says, however, when it comes to R. Kelly, she has a different opinion. I believe that R. Kelly should go to jail for what he's done. Uh, while she feels that he should pay for his crime, she doesn't think it's mute. It, it, his music should be muted. She says him writing his music has nothing to do with that. Him being an entertainer and a star, she said. And those parents bringing those children to the show and then allowing him, I have a son, and she it, it cuts that way, and then allowing him, and it cuts to, I have a son, there's no way I could take my son to a Bruno Mars show and say, okay, Bruno, you can mentor my son. I'm gonna let him stay with you. She says, there's no way. 
Uh, the singer does uh, feel like the book shouldn't stop at just R. Kelly as it pertains to his crimes. She said, and I also believe that the handlers and his ex and his ex-wife and all of that um, need to go to jail too. She says, you cannot tell me that you live in a house with a man and you don't know what he's, you don't know what's going on. That's not true. I don't believe that. She should go to jail too. And so should the handlers that helped him. Yeah, she's uh, Stephanie Mills ain't no joke. Um, so she came with it and recently. Um, Lisa Ray had similar statements to make in regard to R. Kelly and even Bill Cosby. So it's interesting to see uh, you have some of these uh, celebrities coming out and saying things that uh, a couple of years ago might have gotten them canceled. Right. Um, so there's that, you know, not an interesting enough just to bring up because I was surprised it even happened. Right. Um, but nonetheless, that's what it is. So you can check that out if you so please and look at Stephanie Mills and what she has to say about that. Now, y'all know, whenever I have a white woman on the screen looking like a mugshot, which I believe this is what it is, you know, it's, it's, you generally know what the subject matter is about. So I will go ahead and confirm for you. This is longcrime.com. Middle school teacher sexually abused 15-year-old in two-year relationship. And the quotes were theirs, not mine. Middle school uh, teacher in Okaloosa County, Florida, allegedly abused a 15-year-old uh, by starting a sexual relationship with the minor. Right, uh, Haley Hallmark, 35, she has been arrested. The defendant was described as not only a teacher, but a coach at Ruckel Middle School in the city of Niceville. Uh, deputies claim the so-called relationship stretched out for about two more years from August 2018 when the victim was 15 to August 2020. Uh, Kadash, appreciate the support. Um, you know, to 2020, the interaction between adult and child allegedly started with texting, moved into sexting, then became physical. Authorities said this landed on their radar after the teenager told a teacher at Niceville High on Thursday. This got relayed to the school resource officer from there, it was pretty much a beeline uh, to Hallmark getting put on an administrative leave that same day and then arrested Friday. Hallmark is charged with lewd and <laughs> with lewd conduct with a student by an authority figure. It's unclear if she has an attorney in this matter. I can't tell y'all how many people I hear from that tell me that this should be different for female aggressors. Because 15-year-old boys are basically men, so it should be okay. And yet, if I told you a story about a 35-year-old male teacher and a 15-year-old student having a two-year sexual relationship, there's no question he needs to go to jail in most people's minds. There's no question he's guilty. There's no question that he violated innocence. But when it comes to males, you know, boys and men, not limited to children, there's no problem all of a sudden. Their victimization is not victimization, right? They're, they're, they're just, you know walking penises that should be available to be used at the discretion that uh, anybody wants to use it for. Okay. Well, I shouldn't even say anyone, because if this was a gay male teacher who had violated a young boy, I think there'd still be outrage because at the end of the, the, end of the day, the aggressor is still a man. But there's an obliviousness to how this is regarded in mainstream uh, pop culture in, in, in some respects. Because it, it, you don't really see a lot of these. I mean, these cases are getting reported on but they're not really being put on major platforms and given a lot of attention. And I damn near have gotten to a point where I can see I'm reporting on them every week. These are not isolated incidents by any measure, right? These things are going on on a consistent basis. And the lives of these boys, you know, being impacted, nobody cares about, right? But this is what it is now. And it's ridiculous. And it's not uh, ending there, right? This particular article is about a New Jersey substitute teacher charged with sexually assaulting 15-year-old student. Seems that 15-year-olds are in vogue. Appreciate the support, Drake. Um, and now that I have a 15-year-old in my house, this is particularly... Eh, anyway. Um, Willingboro Township, New Jersey, 
A New Jersey substitute has been arrested and charged with sexually assaulting uh, or charged with sexual assault for having a sexual relationship with a student. And you see this? You see this? Sexual relationship. Had sex with. What's the terminology used when it's a male aggressor? There's none of this lightweight language. Nobody calls it a relationship when you got a 40-year-old man and a 13-year-old girl. Nobody. Nobody calls it a relationship. Nobody says they had sex. It's none of this genteel language. He's a rapist. It's in the title. He's going to jail. That's it. But we don't do that. We, we, we do not know how to account for female acts of evil. We really don't. Yet again, another story. She had a sexual relationship. Now they put that in quotes. Camila Kareem, 41, of Willingboro uh, Township, was arrested and charged with second-degree sexual assault and second-degree endangering the welfare of a child on Wednesday. All right? Prosecutors say uh, Kareem worked as a substitute teacher at the alternative school at Bookbinder on various dates between November 2019 and March 2020. Kareem had a sexual relationship, yet again in quotes, with a 15-year-old student who attended the school that involved multiple meetups outside the school, prosecutor said, without providing additional details. This is on um, radio.com. Yeah. What's up, Grinch? Good to see you. Um, yeah, man, this is, this is, this is ridiculous. Yet yeah, par for the course. All right. Yet again, we'll see how much attention that gets. 